This video shows you how easy it is to set up LightKey to control your lighting installation. You can download LightKey for free and give it a try. All you need is a Mac and one of the compatible DMX interfaces. To begin, we open LightKey and click the plus button to create a new project. We enter a name and choose a file location. A project contains all the information about your fixtures and light shows. You'll probably never need more than one project unless you use LightKey in entirely different locations. LightKey guides you through all the necessary steps to set up your project. First, it asks you how to output DMX. LightKey can output DMX through many different USB DMX interfaces or ARTNET, SACN, or ESPNet. In our case, we will use a DMX USB Pro interface. It's already connected, so we just have to select it from the list. Network interfaces require a bit more configuration, which we'll explain in another video. In the next step, you tell LightKey about your fixtures and their DMX addresses, which is called patching. For each type of fixture, you need a fixture profile, which describes the fixture's properties. LightKey comes with a large library of built-in profiles which you see on the left. On the right are the 512 channels in a DMX universe. You see that Universe 1 outputs to the DMX USB Pro interface. To patch a fixture, type its name in the search field. When you found a matching profile, drag it to the starting address. Some fixtures support multiple operation modes. In this case, you must select the same mode that is set on the fixture. Every fixture has a short name which consists of up to four characters. We'll stick with MH1 for moving head 1. Use the count field if you patch multiple fixtures to the same DMX address so they behave identically. If you want to patch several fixtures of the same type to consecutive DMX addresses, you can simply enter a number here. Let's say we have six moving heads. As you can see, LightKey has automatically named our moving heads MH1 through MH6. We also have some simple PAR cans, so we'll use the generic PAR wash profile. What do you do if there's no profile for your fixture in the library? Your first stop should be the online fixture library on the LightKey website. It contains high-quality profiles in LightKey's native format and is updated more often than the built-in library. If you don't find a profile there, use the contact form on the LightKey website to request one. Just attach the fixture's DMX specs and you'll usually get a profile within 7 days. When you're done patching your fixtures, click Next. Here you see icons for the fixtures we just added. We can arrange them in the same way as the real fixtures on the stage. The icons on the left let you add shapes, trusses, and images to visualize our stage, dance floor, or whatever you're lighting. Just press the mouse and drag. Hold down the Option key and drag a shape to make a copy. To resize from the center, hold down the Option key as you drag one of the selection handles. When we're done, we click Next. In the next step, we can create groups of associated fixtures using the Group button in the toolbar. This is useful to select several fixtures with one click. We'll create a group for the moving heads and one for the pars. Now, when you click a PAR, all PARs are selected. 
A key feature of LightKey are the virtual light beams which represent the current state of your lights. To do this, LightKey needs to know about the directions of our fixtures. This is called calibration. We'll start with the PARs. We select all PARs at once because they all point in the same direction, and click Set. Our PARs point straight down, so we select the first beam type. And that's it. Next, the moving heads. All moving heads on the left truss are aligned in the same direction, so we'll select them together. Since the fixtures are in a group, we need to double-click to select a single fixture. Then, we shift-click the other two to add them to selection. Calibration for moving lights consists of three steps. In the first step, the lights move to their home position, which is in the center of the pan range with a 90 degrees tilt angle. We move the arrow so it matches the direction of the light beam. When we go to the next step, the moving head begins rotating. We select the rotation direction, which matches the lights. In the last step, we select how the perspective of the stage preview relates to the real world. With a tilt angle of 0 degrees, the moving heads point straight down, which matches our viewing direction, so we select the first option. We repeat this process for the right truss. When we're done, we click Next. Now we're almost finished. In the next step, LightKey wants to know the color of the light beams for the PARs. These are simple single color PARs, let's say with a yellow color gel. And that's it! LightKey is now ready to control your lights. You can now change colors, and gobos, insert a prism, add movements, or effects. We'll show you more about this in the following tutorials.